guys welcome back to my youtube channel so um i'm here today to show you how i achieved this slick back i look like i look so vintage oh my gosh the earrings i think they're so cute though anyway that's not what i'm here for so um i'm here to show you guys how i achieved this hairstyle um this is a dream hairstyle for me um it's like a i've got like a fake ponytail at the back um with my real hair of course i'm just going to show you guys how i achieved this hairstyle obviously as you guys can see i'm losing some hair um towards the front of my head and that's because of like you guys know i don't really like doing wigs i don't like doing weaves i just don't do that um and i'm really trying to grow my hair out so i've been doing a lot of braids recently and the tension sometimes does remove the front of your um what is it your hair so um i'm just trying to regain my edges back um it's been quite a difficult journey okay it's not that deep but um <laughs> yeah so doing this hairstyle obviously doesn't help that but i just really wanted to do this hair basically this hair is everything you shouldn't do to your natural hair but I did it anyway because I've always wanted to do this hair so yeah yeah this hair is also like a dream hairstyle for me simply because my hair has kind of like my natural hair color I'll put a picture right here of my hair color um, but also a card will go up of how I achieved this hair color because I actually dyed my natural hair because my hair color is quite it's awkward because there isn't like a generic color I can use to kind of add to like a ponytail to my hair so it looks natural um, my hair tends to change color a lot like in summer it goes really really bright blonde in winter it goes kind of like it goes dusky brown but it's not fully like brown like this like it's not obviously brown it's like in the sun it might look brighter but when it's like wet or in the dark it just looks darker but it's not fully dark so it just gets a bit confusing so um, I'm not able to like get extensions I would like that the majority that the mass would get so um yeah it's just a process and it's a journey i want to take you guys on and just to kind of encourage you that you are able to do anything you put your heart to or you anything that you desire and for me i really really love hair i've always loved hair and it's a desire of mine to get better and I kind of, yeah, like I said, I just want to bring you guys on the journey. But yeah, um, I've been talking too much. So I'm just going to fast forward because I hate long introductions. And I feel like this is one. So bye. So as you can see, my hair is really, really growing. Like you can see, I'm really feeling it. I'm in shock. Um, this is the hair that I am using. It is Brown Sugar 386 in Dark and Lovely. I use two packs. Um, you would need gloves a mixing bowl a top you don't really care for um, a wide tooth comb hair bands and another comb and as you can see my hair is blonde because a year ago I dyed it blonde so the ends are really really blonde so this is why it's kind of probed me to want to dye it even more because yeah so as you can see guys make sure you detangle your hair once again don't be like me and part your hair whilst it's tangled you kind of want to part it into quarters so like four sections get a hairband and literally just tie them all away this is what it actually says in the um instruction booklet that comes with the dye so as you can see it's all done um and i'm just gonna put all the products together in this mixing bowl you can get the mixing bowl from your beauty supply store or like your hair shop be careful when you put on gloves because i poked i actually poked my eye and i'm just very silly but yeah you just have to be very very careful so this is the cream developer the instruction booklet make sure you read it i was actually quite um um what is it you have to just make sure you read it because it's very very important that you take the steps um you wanna it actually says that you should test it on a bit of hair before you commit to all of it it also comes with conditioner and the actual hair dye so you kind of just want to mix the developer and the hair dye in the mixing bowl you just literally pour it all and mix it all together like so it really really smelled weird but um quite quite chemicalized i mean it is hair dye so it makes sense why it smells weird so i forgot to click the recording button um as you can see i used one pack 
for the back of my hair and it's all done this is the second pack and i use the second pack for the front two parts of my hair so you want to get the brush you kind of want to do it in sections i don't really know who i was talking to here but yeah you want to make sure that you place the product in your hair ever so gently and um thoroughly you kind of want to make sure it's is in your hair okay i don't know i've said that like 10 times like i'm saying the same thing in different ways so i kind of like this so i get the comb and i part it part my hair and i get the brush with some product and i literally just place it on and i keep repeating this process by parting and placing parting and placing it's very very simple So as you can see I've done one side um, what I do is I get the comb and I kind of just brush it through eventually you'll see um, I brush it through so all of it is like super super into every single strand of my hair so nothing is left out um, and as you can see the dye is getting darker um, and please please make sure when you are combing your hair start from the ends because I don't know why I was doing this start from the ends and work your way up to the root and obviously I was scared that it was gonna drop on be careful like be mindful of your furniture the furniture around you because some hair that I did get on the walls and on my white bed sheet but it's all good um, also guys I realized that this dye actually irritated my neck you'll see later that it kind of caused some um breakouts on my neck it was actually quite red and itchy but again you just have to be extremely careful like when you're doing this so you want to get um, a bonnet and just put it over your head and i let it rest for about 45 minutes or so So 45 minutes later and it's really really dark i'm literally in shock i'm gonna use the cream of nature detangler shampoo and the dr miracle leave-in conditioner so after washing it this was the results that i got i was actually in shock with how dark it was but i also realized as you guys can see with the close-ups some parts are darker than others like the back seems darker than the front um so i just got the conditioner this condition is quite watery um, I should have got probably a thicker one um, so I'm just kind of massaging it through my hair and I'm doing two strand twists so that I can take it to bed this is how I just stretch my hair Then I just get my head scarf and I just tie it. Um, so I'm just getting ready for bed, really. The next day now, um, my hair's fully dry and I just kind of put the same product to so the Dr. Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. I put some on my fingers um and i just undid all of the twists and as you guys can see um the front of my hair is curlier than the back of my hair so this is the twist all taken out and combed um and i just used um a ractal comb i think that's what they call a ractal comb just to part my hair again in sections um this time though because obviously we're styling it now i part the crown of my head so that um the back is separated and i can work with my hair in sections this will make more sense as you watch the video so you want to get your hairband and just separate the back and tie it from the front 
and I didn't show you guys but I'm using the eco styler the full strength one with the red lid they've got like three full strength ones but this one is the generic one with the red lid you'll see it later on but I'm just massaging it through in my hair um, and I'm getting a Dunman brush and combing it from the ends all the way up to the front this is what I should have done when I was um what is it when I was actually dyeing my hair but it's softer than it looks guys it looks like I'm like like really really struggling to comb it but it was very very soft like just there it looked very very thick and hard to comb but it was very very soft so you kind of just want to do this for the back of your hair and make sure it's all slick back add as much product as you feel like you need so that's the that's the eco style that i use so add as much as you you think is necessary but guys i'm not gonna lie to you yeah washing this hair out was a nightmare it was a nightmare because i thought the gel was never gonna come out so i had to wash my hair maybe about three times so all of the gel could come out so here you kind of just want to tie your hair back like so then um the front of the hair is already parted into two now you're just gonna want to part it into four just so you can really work with it in sections um and it can really really be laid because my hair is quite thick so you kind of want to make sure everything lays down accordingly so once again you kind of just want to place the product into your hair as though it's like moisturizer and you want to just comb it through with a diamond brush so that the gel is evenly distributed so you just kind of want to repeat this process on all four of um, the sections this really really helps me This is just that's just me looking back at the head like the back just to make sure it was fine so here i just took all of it out and i kind of combed it all to make sure um the the gel was evenly distributed at the back and i kind of get this brush and make sure it's laid flat but yeah and i repeat the process to the front of the hair So here I'm just kind of slicking it back. I tied it all um, and some just wanted to come loose. So I kind of just placed some gel into it and um, yeah, I finished, I literally finished all of the, um, what is it, the gel. It was quite a small pot of gel left so and I just finished using it. So you kind of want to use your little edge control brush to just lay some straggly um what is it hairs that just don't want to listen and the ones that just don't want to stay in place um here i'm just laying my baby my baby hair well it's adult hair to be honest it's not baby hair but yeah i'm just kind of styling it so it just looks not as you know like corporate i kind of wanted to have that kind of cute young edgy look So here, um, as you can see, I'm using the soft and silky um, hair. I used about eight little strands. This is the, Kani the Kanikalon hair. What you want to do is get eight strands and then you want to tie a rubber band around it to make kind of like an anchor. Um, and you can tie it as many times as you wish, but you kind of want to not tie it enough 
so that you have some room to add your hair to it so you want to take the section where you haven't tied to the fake hair and tie that around your real hair so what you would have in the middle as you can see is your real hair and the fake hair and you kind of want to do like a twist thing with the hair as you can see like you just want to twist it around your hair so that it is super tight um, and it's just super cute you can style it however you wish to style it but I just kind of played around with it to see how it would work for me what kind of how far I want it to go <laughs> Some bits did not want to stay down so I did use um, little pins to kind of hold them down in my hair um, and just for extra styling I used the pink um, hairspray, it's the ultra shine one just to give it some shine um, but I think it would be better to do this after you've laid your hair. I got my silky brown scarf just to lay it down you want to make sure you use a silky scarf when you lay your hair down to do this process if you use a cotton one um first it, your hair may stick to the cotton but yeah i for extra protection i just used the cotton one on top of the silky one but yeah guys this is how it turned out i did my makeup and i wore a cute jump arm um but yeah this is how it turned out i really really love it I feel like the ponytail blends really really well with my hair and the hair color that I decided to do um, if you guys have any tips on how I can regain my edges let me know but um, I'm not too worried because my edges do grow back quite quickly but yeah um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye